We're just four days away from National Wear Red Day, although I'm starting just a tad early. Amy Perpich is wearing her red, too, in support of the awareness of heart disease. But, Amy, this is far more than just wearing the color red. The importance of awareness of heart disease is something that's near and dear to you. Yes. Um, actually, a year ago on um, January 24th, I woke up in the morning. Um, I was actually in the best shape of my adult life and um, was having some weird chest pain and thought maybe I'd pulled a muscle, um, but quickly noticed that it was radiating into my jaw and up the back of my neck. Um, I actually went ahead and got ready for work. I was on my way to an early meeting. I actually work in healthcare and um, spoke to a coworker who urged me to go to the ER and I'm incredibly grateful that I did. Um, when I arrived and they did an EKG, I was actually having a non-STEMI um, heart attack um, so I was transferred to a hospital with a cath lab. I went straight to the cath lab and um, found out that um, I needed a stent and that I'd had a very rare form of a heart attack that affects mostly young, healthy women. Um, it was caused by a spontaneous coronary artery dissection or also called a SCAD heart attack. Amy, had it not been for that coworker, would you, would you have gone? Because as women, I think a lot of times we just kind of power through things. You know, it's a great point and, and I totally agree and I've learned and read so much more about those stories and people that wait days and weeks with chest pain and um, I don't know that I would have gone right at that moment actually, but I do work in a hospital so I probably would have gone at some point, but my outcome may not have been as good had I not gone when I did. So I'm very grateful. It was obviously very shocking when I got there to have that happen. Um, I spent two nights in the hospital and um, I'm very blessed. I don't have any actual damage to my heart muscle, but um, I've still had some bumps in my recovery. Um, and I think one of the things that I would say to anyone who's um, going through some type of event, whether it's cardiac or cancer or anything, is just, um, I think the physical recovery can be the easiest part. Actually, the mental recovery um, having a young family and a career and being young myself has been probably the hardest part about the whole uh, situation. Let's talk about that for a little further, Amy, for a moment. I mean, so physically, how are you? What's your prognosis today? Um, actually, very good. Um, I'm obviously on some medications that I was not on before. I was on no medications when it happened. Um, so I am on some medications for the stent and probably for the rest of my life. Um, but my prognosis is actually quite good. Um, SCAD heart attacks, the, the downfall is that they reoccur in about 15 to 20% of patients and they can reoccur at any point, you know, up to a day or two later, up to many, many years or decades later. So I think that does definitely add to my anxiety, but also I'm just trying to focus on the things that I can control and I'm trying to figure out how I can make a positive out of the experience and give back. That's that's something also that you you just alluded to a moment ago. I mean, you included you know a cancer diagnosis, heart disease. Certainly, there is an emotional and a mental toll. What, if any, advice? What's working for you that you would offer to someone? Um, talking to someone and mm -hmm. um, being honest with yourself and the people that support you um, about how you're feeling. Um, stress and anxiety actually can cause heart attacks. And um, so um, my doctor was very honest with me that I needed to get help with my anxiety, that um, that was actually probably my biggest contributing risk factor moving forward. So um, I've been trying to exercise. Um, the pandemic has not made things any better, um, but trying to stay connected, um, try to figure out how, what my purpose is, how to give back and um, just try to really enjoy every single day. Um, I've really just started to practice gratitude and meditation. Now, National Wear Red Day, it's yeah. coming, it's coming. But you are also a part of a brand new campaign that's being unveiled that day, Women of Impact. Explain what the campaign is and why is it important? Sure. So the Women of Impact is a new campaign nationally and um, each of the chapters or many of the chapters select um, or nominate individuals that can be survivors or people that just are advocates for the American Heart Association and cardiovascular health. And basically it's just um, my way of um, taking a few weeks and really um, using social media and my friends and family to increase awareness 
um, that cardiovascular is really the no cardiovascular disease and events are the number one killer, um, including in women, and really just a chance to share my story and make everyone aware that it's really important to know your numbers, to pay attention to your health. If you think something is wrong, get it checked out. The worst thing you can do is wait. Well, we're very glad that you're joining us this morning, a year and some odd days later, Amy. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. National Wear Red Day is February 5th. Again, that's four days from now. So join us. Join me, join Amy in wearing red to show your support. Visit heart.org slash Louisville Go Red for more information about the local chapter of the American Heart Association and, of course, about Wear Red Day. And don't forget to save the date. The annual Go Red for Women luncheon is June 4th.